In this seller board tutorial by Jenny Adams, you will learn how to use seller boards uh, inventory management feature that allows you to effectively track your stock and it notifies you when it's time to place another order with your supplier. If you want to use seller board and uh, check their features by yourself, find the link below to sign up for seller board, also their special offer. And if you like videos like this, don't forget to click like button and subscribe to our channel. Hello everybody, welcome to Orange Click. My name is Jenny, I'm from Sellerboard. Sellerboard is a profit analytics tool with additional um, tools such as follow-up mail campaigns, inventory management, reimbursement for loss and damage stock and other VAERs, PPC optimization, listing change alerts, eBay and Shopify connectors and much, much more, including the lifetime value new feature that we released um, recently and a bunch of other tools. Today, I will be showing you a demo of our new inventory management system, a few updates that we did in it. So I'll be using my demo account as usual and the inventory management system in Sellerboard, um, you can find it here under stock in your Sellerboard account. And basically what, what's happening here is the Sellerboard will forecast your inventory levels based on your sales. And we'll remind you when there is a danger to run out of stock. So if you're using a prep center, that would mean you need to send some goods over to your FBA warehouse. And most, impor most importantly, we'll remind you when it's time to place another order. So as you can see here, we are in our stock uh, feature. And um, so if you go over here, you'll see here that this is the stock that you have at the moment for this specific product. And you'll see here some aggregated statistics as at the top. So you can see the cost of goods, which are tied or locked to your inventory. So in this case, let's go over here. Okay, so you have the FB, FB or FBM stock that you have in the prep center. Some items probably have been already ordered. So a total of 2,000, roughly two and a half thousand dollars you have over here. And you can see here your potential sales. So this shows what will happen if you sell off all your available stock, including the prep center, the prep stock, I'm sorry, and items that are already ordered, then uh, you'll generate at current prices. So the sales. In the last tile here, you'll see the uh, potential profit. So Sellerboard estimates if you'll sell off all your available inventory, then you'll make about $9,000 in profit over here. So yes, if you sell off all your inventory, then you'll roughly be making around $9,000, $9,224. In profit. By the way, this is all the demo data. Demo data. So they're imaginary products and imaginary imaginary numbers, but I will try to make sense off of them. So let's take a look at this table at the bottom over here, and you have your products. So what you have here is the numbers, um, the current number that's in FB and FBM stock, the reserved stock value, adjusted sales velocity per days. Per day, days of stock left, days of stock left sent to FB prep center stock ordered days until the next order recommended quantity for reordering ROI, and you can um, and you have the comments here which you can edit roughly. Let's start with the numbers. This is the easiest part. So you can see here you have some highlighted colors. Um, green means that you're good. Yellow means that you have to take actions. In around seven days, you know you'll run out of stock, so you need to reorder. And red means that there is an action overdue. It basically means that you've run out of stock and you should have ordered some time ago. So the red ones are actual and the yellow ones are actually your to-dos and your should be on your to-do to-do list. And you have red flag over here that says the amount until the next reorder. So basically you have to reorder today. So let's go through the columns and I'll explain to you how it works. What seller board does for the adjusted sales velocity per day is seller board can take your current sales speed into account, which can be adjusted with weights, with coefficients and so, and, season, and take seasonality into account. And if your product is seasonal or has some seasonality, it can take potential growth into account and some other settings like that, like the, okay, so let's just click over here for me to explain it much easier. So if we click over here on the sales velocity on the number over here for this specific feature, you'll see the adjusted sales velocity parameters. The weight as mentioned coefficients can be changed. So basically this is the number of units that you have for specific days and you have the weight and velocity, you have supplier order over here. What you can do here is you can add the target stock, stock range after new order days. So basically, and you have the FBA buffer days, basically, 
you enter how many products you'd like to end and for the FBA buffer days. For the manufacturing and logistics, you, you enter the number of days that it takes to, ma to manufacture your product. You can take care of user preps, prep center and um, the number of days that it takes to ship to your prep center and the number of days to ship to your FBA warehouse as well. Once you fill all these, we'll be able to send you a notification when it's time to make your next order based on your adjusted sales velocity. So basically, how it works is that this is the stock that you have. This is your stock value. This is the adjusted sales velocity per day. So this is the amount of units that you sell per day. And this is the number of stock you have. This is the stock you have for this specific number of days. So you have stock left for 38 days. If you enter the data over here that I mentioned earlier, we will be able to accurately notify you when it's time to place your next order. So you have stock left for 38 days and in 15 days, you should create your next order. What we have over here is the forecast. Basically, if you're using products that are seasonal at the days here, you can add their weight and you can add the coefficients over here. So you have the projected monthly growth rate over here. Once you apply these changes, for products that are seasonal, so you have also here the coefficients. These will be taken into account for forecasting and based on the sales velocity, we'll notify you when it's time to place another order when you're running out of stock. How likely are you to run out of stock when it's your peak season for season for products that are seasonal and so on. This is the, num the amount that you ordered for this product. Let me switch off the comments over here. Okay. And let's go to the different example here because here it's a zero. So what you have here is you have the recommended quantity for reordering. Actually, it's red. And it means that you should have ordered some times ago, some, some days ago, you have stock left for seven days for this jewelry blue card box. And here is your recommended quantity for reordering your next order. And you have the ROI here. Here you can always add additional comments. So if you're going to run out of stock, like here, you need time to have the order shipped to your FBA warehouse. Basically, here you don't have enough time because in seven days, you'll run out of stock and um, you'll have to, you will be out of stock until you reach your next pre-order, your next order to the to your FBA warehouse until you can sell again. So basically why we created all this is for you to be able to never run out of sales, always have stock um, in your FBA warehouse or in your prep center or whichever. When you are running out of stock, you'll be actually notified in the alerts feature over here that you're running out of stock. Okay, so I've zoomed it in. This is a demo account, but here you'll actually be able to see the running out of stock notification. You can receive it per email or you can receive it here in your seller board account. If you enter all the parameters accurately based on your sales velocity, we'll also be able to provide you a forecast. And if you go over here back, you can arrange all the data available here by marketplace. Over here, you can arrange it by FBA, FBM or both, and you can arrange it by product. The cool thing here is that you will be, as mentioned at the beginning of this demo, be able to understand what's the potential profit that you can make out of the current inventory that you have at the moment, how much you've ordered, the total, how much sent to FBA, the current, the current amount that you have in, in your prep stock you have for $31 over here and so on. Okay, so one more cool thing here is that you can import and export data. For example, if you want to import some products with their, with their coefficients, with their data, with the amount that you have currently in your um, prep center or um, the amount of inventory that you have at the moment, you can always import files here. However, you'll, be, you'll have to use the template that we mentioned so that all the numbers can be imported accurately according to their criteria. Um, you can use the template to don't, you can use the template here to download it and fill it out and then upload it back over here. You can also export the data that you have over here as you see how it's going to be downloaded automatically. So you can feel free to explore our, our new inventory management um, system and the updates that we added. If you have any questions, write them in the comments or drop us an email to support um, or use the chat box, which is over here in your seller board account. We'll be happy to respond. This was a short demo of all our updates um, as well as the seasonality. Um, all these are always clickable. So once again, you can manage the coefficients over here to take the seasonality into account for sales and forecasting, which will be shown over here, which will be shown over here specifically for your um, seasonal products that are um, that sell according to some season, to seasonality, whether it's scarves during the winter or Christmas presents during Christmas or bathing suits during summer. You have here the FBA and the FBM stock that's available, and you can also 
click on the figure, configure the settings that you'd like to view. For example, if you want to view Amazon.com stock or Amazon.com sales, we have both over here. And you can view the parameters according to specific period, just like that, just by moving the mouse. Um, as mentioned, the seasonality can be arranged over here for accurate forecast. And here you can um, see how much has been sent to FB and FBMO. Of course, you have the stock here and the sales as well, which can be moved for specific periods of time, just like that. Um, this way you can compare periods, understand how well you're, sale, you're selling and so on. And you have the recommended quantity for reordering. All this is measured according to the velocity of your current sales, how much you've done this month, how much you're likely to do until um, then the end of the month comes, as well as the numbers. Green means you're good, yellow means you have to start taking action in a few days, and yellow means you're out of time and you have to take action as soon as possible. This was Seller Board for Orange Click. I hope you enjoyed this demo. If you have any questions, let us know. Hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and if you would like to try and see how Sellerboard works for yourself, you can find the link below to sign up for Sellerboard. You will get a special offer as well. And uh, now I would like to invite you to watch other video with Sellerboard where you can learn more about uh, what they do and what uh, how it can help your Amazon business.